What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Chef Tilly. Here to give you another episode of another Batman oh, Night episode. Now, this is where we are getting it. down to one of the most important Science. parts of this game. Is this right down. here? Sending drones in is now, this sir. one right here? And. I hope this isn't too staticky for you guys. I hope not. I don't really know. I don't think it is. Um, yeah, had to do some straight up cleaning, so I hope it doesn't sound like words kind of clicking in and out, or it's like a little bit, even though you can hear it. So my right hand side. Hopefully it's all right. I don't know, but uh, with this part. This is where we're going to be getting into a lot of part, part that is important. At this point, Batman, I've cleared as much we are, of the toxin um, as I can. You must find the cloudburst. Hmm. It's killing my plans. I say at this point, just hang on. Right here, we're in the blimp. We're taking down the blimp with us in this cloudburst. As where raise the bridges. He's crashing down to the gone. ground, sure, sir? Get the and a lot of the uh, SUV the vehicles I'll take out the Cobra tanks are being sir, taken out by us here in the, the Batmobile. Has you severely outgunned? Right. trapping him. We're being taken out by us, even though they're shutting down upon their own, and the island's locked down because we want to hunt down. Because we're going to have the big boss battle. You know, we're going to have that. We're going to have the big boss the battle. Now I can close. Not the big one. Fire on the the big one leading up to the big one. And there's still a couple other bosses that we have to take out. This point right here, we are trying to take out the boss. Not the boss. Not scared bro couple of so we're kind of moving up to the big underboss and what's about to come up next after when the cloud burst starts to clear this point coming up really soon with poison ivy's death this is going to be the part where batman's going to be woken at it's where Batman's gonna be woken at. Cause Poison Ivy, and we're gonna narrate as I'm Poison, like I'm gonna pretend I'm Poison Ivy, now I'm gonna be narrating to you guys. I'm gonna be explaining. I'm gonna be shedding some light on why <laughs> the criminals are the way they are, why the villains are the way they are. And as Batman starts to reel, as Batman listening, as he starts to wake, and it's all hitting him at once. He's like, Shit. and then we're gonna get the Batman point of view. Sir, the Arkham Knight. Did you subdue him? To his and he's, to almost his depth analysis. He's gone. If you will. You uh, don't sound entirely sure, sir. Ivy, I've and destroyed the cloudburst. Purify the remaining toxins. What he was fast fighting for the whole time. Was like, Ivy. I feel you I may be too late, sir. Scans the wrong the toxin is overwhelming thing. Ivy's plants. <laughs> yes, I'm I have to stop now. you guys. But I see now what you guys are trying to say, and that the real villains are the Arkham, just Arkham itself, Batman, the GCPD, Gotham itself as boy, as his own boy. Ivy. Which then will lead My us into the next game She's the when I talk about me that. Right now. When the time comes for it, I'll talk about that. But Batman knows he just cannot abandon his post right now. So he has to still take down Scarecrow. And then realize, maybe I'm not with Gotham but something else is. Here we go. 
Poison Ivy at this point right here in her life looks up at Batman and tells him as we were in Arkham a lot of us were tortured experimented on and brutally raped not by just the Stark Arkham staff but by Arkham uh, Quincy Jones I think his name is not not the singer but the guy that owns Arkham and he would shove he would rape me because he had an STD and he wanted to see if green wood would burn is what he told me as a lot of us were trying to fight the entire time to want to shed light upon our justice and to tell you what was going on with us and you wouldn't listen at the same time we went about it the wrong way and this is why we all came out the way we were and why now I chose the side of good to bring back the bit of left of humanity I have to sacrifice my life and the last bit of my power to save Gotham because I still believe there's some light left in Gotham that there's still some good within you Batman even and a lot of the stuff were planted on us that were given to us and sold by us by the GCPD and the sign off of Commissioner Gordon a lot is corrupted. A lot of us are too far gone. Being beaten, tortured, and experimented on night by night. Screams late at night. We was hoping that you could finally see that. And why we turned out the way we did. I choose to partner up and not to be brainwashed by Crane. Not to follow within the same track as everyone else as I'm laying here dying taking my last breaths sharing with you I just wanted to own a plant store and I was also a scientist for a while but as you know what happened to me during the incident the incident was at Arkham Asylum But I was never crazy. I was never that. They did put a lot of injections. Drug injections into us. Making me that way. Making all of us that way. And yet. Here I am. Mother nature. And nature. With Batman. Will always win. So that right there. As. To Batman's point of view now as he's watching this, he never expected one of his enemies to help him as such as they die. Laying in his arms, and seeing her soul, her body, her spirit just burst into new life. Taking out the chemicals, the cloud burst. As everything starts hitting him at once so fast. As everything is going through his mind, it hits him. Boom. That maybe all this time that they were crying out for help, telling me what was going on. Sir, the gas cloud and now is Batman, as he's talking out, I mean, we think I know now. That remains within her. I know now. She's gone, I know. Alfred. What's Clearing going the toxin, on? What happened? Everything but I she cannot had. abandon I see. my post right now. Her final my mission was a is to still one. stop I need to Scarecrow. Find Scarecrow before anyone else dies. As him and Alpha right now having this conversation, concrete, sir, what are you talking but about? Comes from I know light. now who the true enemies are. I know the city. what has to be Most done all, and what has to be no stopped. Alfred still talking and looking at Brat Batman. You know, With Bruce Wayne now would be the perfect time to in confusion your control of the city. Sir, what's going on? As he shuts off his comm link. You actually believe you've won, don't you, Batman? 
he knows the true villains, the true masterminds are. Arkham, the owner of Arkham, GCPD, Gordon himself was even corrupted and still brainwashed himself because a lot of stuff is being sold to Arkham with GCPD. And all that him and Batman and Gordon want is to Gotham to be a family safe place. But even Gordon knows that deep inside he's crying for help because he know he did wrong. But that will come soon. Strike down the back. And I hope you guys Kill him. enjoy this episode. And get what's really being it said here with this one like this, Michael. The because choice was the always true yours. Villains aren't here. And this one is why. The new Arkham game is going to be almost like a ghost town, almost like an abandoned actual city that's falling apart because Arkham had to be fully shut down. Arkham City, the staff, the within the new owners themselves had to be brought down and brought to justice. As this is going on, GCPD, Batman's trying to do what he can on that part. And Gordon himself fighting with himself to come back to the light, breaking whatever poison was in him. And that Gotham to himself is poisoned and probably can never be saved. What's he doing? Batman is the hero. Gotham doesn't need that. Not the hero they need right now, but what he is the hero that the world needs and why he should go back to the Justice. I hope you guys enjoy this episode. I want you guys to sit back and enjoy the rest of the bonus little clips that the were GCPD added in this. Patrol car has and reported a number of gang members. Lord, I've decoded a radio transmission. And it's Gordon. Oh, he's alive. I need you to isolate the radio's frequency and pinpoint its location. Of course, sir. The transmission appears to have originated from an abandoned shopping mall. The building has been without power for some time, sir. You may well encounter some obstacles. I've already retrieved the remote electrical charge prototype from the GCPD evidence room. That should help. Very well, sir. A GCPD patrol car has reported a number of gang members assaulting a hostage in the vicinity of Falcone shipping yard. It could very well be another of the missing Station 17 firefighters. You'll find him. I know it. My men, are they okay? Your men think a lot of you, Captain. They trust you. You know, don't you? I know you would do anything for your men, even if that meant aiding and abetting a known arsonist. It was you who gave Firefly the access codes and addresses of abandoned buildings. I always made sure they were empty. No one was hurt. You put your men in danger. The city was shutting us down. I couldn't let them do it. I couldn't. And while there was an arsonist at large in Gotham, your men would keep their jobs. They've got families. They gave their lives to this city. I made a promise to them. I couldn't break it. You understand that, right? The police will want to question you at GCPD. This is your seat, Chief. Riding in the Batman's car. My little girl's gonna be jealous. Scarecrow's plan.